Hi creatives and welcome back to Agency Academy. My name is Marlin and today we're going to do a slightly new format which is a design along with me. I'm going to be designing an event poster for one of my clients for a music festival and I'm going to talk you through every step that I'm doing for a typical event poster type project. So let's just jump straight in. Okay, so first I thought I would talk you through the brief. So this is a really straightforward type brief and you always get, you know, different details and different things from your client. So in this case, there is an existing logo and this is called TV Den Americana, which is a music festival that's going to be held in a national park. So it's going to be outdoors, it's going to be surrounded by nature. It's uh, really cool actually. Uh, it's going to be Americana music, which is something you can hear from the logo title. And so uh, we're going to do a little bit of research on what that means. Uh, these are the details in terms of the content that I need to fit. So I have the location, I have the date, I have that how to get the tickets, then the different artists that are going to be there, and then finally the website. So this is all the information that I know I need to actually fit into the poster. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to look into a little bit about Americana music because that's something that I'm personally not that familiar with and I want to make sure that I'm hitting like the right feeling. So I'm just going to head over to Google and I'm just going to start by looking at some images and this will just give me like a super clear first feeling of what that means. Um, I can see a lot of kind of like country style, a lot of guitar music. A lot of it seems to be very sort of this kind of live small scale feeling. I quite like this where it's like outside. Okay, it's kind of related to indie, maybe folk music. Okay, I think this is really good. So we can kind of use this as references. I like the black and white type of images. And I like this kind of, I think one trend that's coming up is a lot of these very golden kind of warm tones. Okay, so I'm gonna head over to Pinterest as well. I'm just gonna have a look there. Uh, so, do the same thing, just Google it there. Right now, so we're getting a lot of kind of the same thing. We're getting guitars, we're getting, I like this one where it's kind of like a little bit of a hand lettering feeling and illustrated aspects. And so I just do this for a bit where I'm sort of looking at different examples and what's already out there. And especially I'm noticing kind of a natural muted color scheme, which is actually gonna work really well since we have this kind of national park theme. Mm. Okay, awesome. So now that we know this, I'm going to do one more thing, which is I'm going to look at national park posters. Guys, I think that's something that we could also get some cool inspiration from. Mm, this one's awesome. I, I really like how the text is kind of like spread out in different places. So you have the different directions of the text. That's really cool. Yeah, see, there's something that's kind of coming back here. So I like that. Perfect. Okay, so now let's go back to our brief. So we know that we have this different information. And the first thing I want to do is just to think about the priority and the hierarchy of this information. So I think the location is going to be a little bit bigger. I think also the, the date is something that's quite nice to make really big because Numbers tend to be quite visually appealing, it's not that long, so it's really nice to make it quite large. And then also, uh, it's a good thing for people to know when it is, and that's kind of a key hierarchy information as well. So I'm going to make this bigger. I might think about maybe making the numbers bigger and the text a little bit smaller. So maybe something like... Mm -hmm. Maybe making sure it just fits underneath or something. We'll have we'll have a think. So then we have all these different artists, which we could maybe keep like this, or maybe do a slightly different layout. And then we have the website. Okay, 
That's interesting. So hierarchy here would be logo is the most important, location and date is the next important. And then maybe we will make this bold or something. So maybe it gets a little bigger as well. And then we have the artists and the contact information. So, okay, cool. So that's what we want to fit. Now I want to think about how to create this feeling of the um, nature, the thing, feeling of the music and the information and inspiration that we looked at before. So I might use illustration for this project, but I also want to explore maybe using some photography. So I'm just going to go on Unsplash and in this, in this case actually there is no uh, photos that the uh, client actually wants me to incorporate. There are no specific ones. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by finding some pictures of guitars. Something that is going to give lots of space for layout, like this is pretty good in the sense that there's a lot of white space, but it's a really different type of vibe, so this one would fit better. Mm. Maybe something like this would be cool, where it's kind of like the right vibe, but this feels really blurry, so I'm not quite sure. I like the outdoorsiness of this, but then there's too much going on. Hmm. This is a good one. Okay, I like this one. So I'm gonna download this one. I want to find someone who's maybe playing music. As if it would be like an artist. So this is pretty cool. This is kind of like the vibes that we saw in a lot of the inspiration. I think maybe, yeah, <laughs> it's cute. Uh, Maybe I'll save it for later. This is also pretty nice. I think this has a lot of potential with that feeling, but it does feel quite murky. So maybe I would have to, maybe I would have to go into Photoshop and edit it a little bit. Okay, so I found another one that I think might be pretty cool. This is actually one that I found as an image on Unsplash, but then I was just playing around with different effects because I wanted to create something that looked like a kind of burnt Polaroid as I was playing around with techniques a couple weeks back. And I made this as just like a fun experiment. But now looking back at it, I think that the kind of Polaroid burnt feeling might be pretty cool. Um, all I did was basically to um, do a color burn uh, with the effect. So instead of choosing multiply, I just chose a color burn and then I added a couple different color layers to it. And I also made this a little bit sepia with the color. So that is something that's pretty cool. Um, but I also want to incorporate some sort of illustrated element. Uh, and I was looking at the way that a guitar looks and I'm sure there's a much better name for it, but the kind of neck of the guitar. Um, so where you have all the, all the strings. Um, it does remind you a little bit of a tree trunk. So I had an idea of connecting the guitar, which is kind of a central element to this music genre, uh, with the tree, which is kind of this connection to the national park aspect. So I'm going to have a look for some different pictures of trees and some pictures of guitars so I can use them as a reference. So I was able to find this picture which is a vector that I was able to grab from a stock site that I have a subscription to of kind of like a pine tree, which is the, the most common type of tree in this type of national forest that we have here. And so now I'm looking for something that can be the guitar part of it. And so I was looking at pictures of guitars. Let's have a look. And I came across this one. Now I think this one has a lot of great things going for it because it's a really simple image. Um, there's a couple ways you can do this. Uh, sometimes I just use the pen tool and I will literally trace along the edges and just choose the parts that I think are interesting. Um, if it has to be something super symmetrical, I might choose to use like the ellipse tool to create the perfect circle and things like that. In this case, I want to try to image trace this and I'm sure I'm going to have to fix it up a lot. Uh, but I just want to see if we can use that to create a little bit more of a grungy feeling. Uh, so I'm going to start by making this 
black and white. So I'm just gonna go and edit the colors. So I'm gonna click edit, edit colors. Sorry, it's in Swedish, so, but I'll try to translate and then convert to grayscale. Uh, and so that's gonna make it easier for it to image trace. Uh, and then I'm gonna just click image trace and it's gonna give me something pretty crazy. But what I'm interested in here is actually this. So I think this looks pretty cool that it has image traced it, but like not perfectly. And I think the shape of it is correct. I like this little bit. I'm not sure if it's too messy. So you can also play around a little bit with the settings for this. So right now it just is standard, but you could also have like multiple colors or just grayscales. The black and white logo type tends to give a very basic kind of main shapes result, which is fine. So I'm just gonna go with the standard and I'm just gonna expand this and that's gonna allow me to edit it. So I'm just gonna ungroup this. Usually in my experience, you have to do it a couple times. So now I can remove the white background and I'm gonna um, make this black and then we're gonna merge all these things later. So I'm just gonna go and grab everything that I don't want to see and try to make it the black color. Okay, cool. So all I did was I kept the bits that I like, which are the kind of shape of it and these lines here. I also went in and changed a couple of these so that it's not perfectly symmetrical because I do want it to feel like it's a unique design on either side. Cool, so now I have these two parts. I have the tree and I have this. And placing it like this already looks pretty cool. Uh, I definitely think that we need to get rid of this part here, or at least hide it. So I'm gonna see in terms of sizing what might look good. I'm thinking something like this is gonna be pretty good. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so I know color-wise this looks a little crazy because we have black on a gray background, so you don't see this so much, but I think it's gonna be up to the color choices to make it visible. If not, we're gonna have to go in and just make these a little wider. So this is all of the information that I want to fit. Let me just get rid of that. And so the first thing I, I like to think about because it's the main hierarchy is the logo. And so I think in this case, if it's gonna be placed on top here, it's gonna have to be white. So I'll just go change that. And we'll see if maybe we want to put it really large or if Basically the first step that I'm doing now is just playing around with the layout in Adobe Illustrator. And I could definitely do this straight in InDesign, which is the program I'm gonna to use to export this for print. But I'm just so much more used to working in Illustrator and I feel like it's easier to test things out. And especially when it comes to illustration, I'm way more comfortable just creating it in Illustrator first. So I'm just playing around with ideas now and then whichever design we feel strongest about. I'm actually gonna create that one in Adobe InDesign. So let's see, we might have to put some sort of filter on this to make sure it's visible. I don't want it to be right on the edge. So I don't want this kind of edge to be right on the top of the guitar. Uh, it's looking a little awkward to me. I'm gonna have to choose a typeface that I feel is a little more inspiring. So it's just a basic one. Let me have a look at some options. Mm hmm, it's quite nice. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for this one. It has a lot of character, but it's still like a really simple one. It feels quite in line with the other styles. Mm, I'm gonna try something. So I see this area here that's black and there's quite a lot of space there. What I'm gonna try to do is I'll place this on top here. Uh, and we're gonna place this in white. We're gonna see if that's gonna work or not. And then we're gonna see if we can maybe place all of these artist names in a different way. So I've just prepared this as a slightly different format. So they're all laid out like this. I think this could be pretty cool. I'm thinking of maybe mirroring the color of the guitar itself. This is totally not working though. So I'm thinking maybe I'll switch this around, put this here, a little bit more like what we saw for the uh, 
inspiration images. So I can already tell that the um, some of these with the photos are going to be trickier to work with and so I actually think that the most successful design is going to be the illustration version. So I'm actually going to complete these other two with the photos in my own time and I'll show them to you as well at the end of this video. So you'll see three different concepts. But on screen now I'm going to be sharing with you how I do the illustrated one because that's the one I think is going to be the winner. Okay, so we have everything we want for the illustration. I'm thinking that the guitar should probably be front and center and thinking about placement i'm not sure we need the whole tree to be part of it like if it needs to be this tall if it can get cut off if it shouldn't so i'll test a couple different ones but i also don't think we need to have the whole guitar shown so i'm just thinking something maybe like this perhaps a little smaller something like this okay I think that could be pretty cool I think you still get the idea but it's not too overwhelming and then we're gonna try to place out the logo so I think that we could either make it like this where we have it sort of on top of it and we'll just do a bit of an overprint effect and then we have I'm gonna make all of these the choice for the right typeface and I'll just go in and make some of these maybe not the yeah slightly different okay okay cool so I want to be able to incorporate the date somehow so that's something that's gonna be a big thing I could put it here which could be pretty cool that could be an opportunity to do that what I saw on some of these designs that we looked at before was a kind of like a little banner thing so i might try that just over here you might wonder why i'm designing in black and white at the moment it's just because i like to focus on the layout first and then once i have been able to figure out kind of like the overall layout of things then i like to just go in and pick the colors just so that i know that the uh, overall layout is going to work so I'm just going to go in and adjust a little cool and so we'll put this on top <laughs> okay so something like this maybe yeah okay and then the question is are we happy with it being just like this or do we want it maybe to be a little more interesting maybe we just add another point just create a little bit more of that feeling maybe we can add a slight detail maybe like a little line Okay, creating a bit more character. Okay, we'll do the same over here. Cool. So that's a start. I think that's cool because you're getting this division of the date and the, the logo itself. This is a little bit empty now, but we're gonna have to think about what to actually do. Now I'm thinking that this needs to be the next one so put this on top here and we could put this all the way here but i think it might look a little bit too awkward i think maybe making sure that it's kind of in between where this is stopping and this is stopping here okay now we got a couple different things to place because this is already underneath and smaller i'm thinking that if i just place this kind of here and then place this under here it's gonna be just like a list of more smaller and smaller stuff so what I was thinking is what if we would do this and place the location a little bit smaller on top and then we have the ticket prompt a little bit bigger underneath that way we are making it a little bit easier for people to get in touch but the location is still there what do you guys think let me know in the comments what you would have done 
So I'm just going to go ahead and move this up a little. Okay, I can like that layout. The one thing I'm feeling right now is that it's pretty awkward with the space here. And also all of these ones, if we're going to place them here, which is kind of my, um, my feeling that we should. I feel like this is very cramped. So I'm thinking we might just try to move this over here. See how that looks. Mm hmm. Okay. I like it. I think that's going to work. So we make this a little bit smaller. And then the last thing we have is just the contact information. Cool. I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger. I think we'll make it a different color. Okay, I like this layout, it's pretty cool. Great, okay, so now we need to think about colors. When we had a look at the inspiration, we saw a lot of these kind of like muted natural tones. There was a lot of brown beige, kind of these burnt colors and a lot of colors that feel natural. And because this is gonna be in a national forest, I think it's perfect. And so I wanna test out a couple green colors. Um, I'm gonna start by just adjusting this, putting it in the back. And I'm gonna try to look for a green that's kind of in this natural color spectrum. Maybe something like that. And then, actually I can merge these. Cool. So um, what if we try to go for a shade of this, which is just darker? We'll have to see how much darker. Okay, so this is cool, but the guitar is disappearing a little bit. So we'll have to make it a little darker. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna make these lines a little bit wider because I'm, I can tell this is gonna be a little bit of an issue. Okay, so that looks a lot clearer now. I might go in and fix a couple, a couple more, but I think from a layout perspective, this looks fine. So now there's a lot of white on this here. I want to try to grab a color that feels a little bit more like those beigey warm tones that we saw. Maybe something like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. And let me grab the hex color of that. Okay. Nice. Okay. So let's see now, if we want to do something about this color tone, I'm thinking this is a bit too harsh with this black. So I'm gonna try to make it a green color. That looks better, it looks a lot more natural. So I could go two ways now. I could either make some of these, this really dark green, which would look pretty cool, but I have another idea. Okay, so I think I found one that I like. This is basically a darker version of the color we have here. And this, to be honest, could be the poster design. I am going to run it by my client, but I actually wanted to show you another color option that I was testing out. Okay, cool. So this is another color option that I, that I like. And what I like about it is it's really going with the inspiration pictures that we saw. Um, however, I do feel like the legibility of the logo against the tree illustration is a little bit weaker, but uh, I'm going to show my client both and we'll see what they pick. Before I send it off, I'm going to put it on a mock-up and I'm going to show you guys the different ones that I actually ended up showing the client. Okay, so these are the three. Okay, so these are the three ones that I ended up showing my client and I'll talk you through a little bit what I did. So the first one is the one that we looked at with the guitar and I ended up working with this white space to try to put in the dates, which worked pretty nicely. And then I replicated that effect with the tickets. I then was able to use the space around kind of the frame to put in the different information like the artists and the place, uh, which is something that I think worked pretty nicely. And I also added a color filter uh, to make the whole image a little bit darker. The next option was the one with the uh, kind of color dodge or the, the burnt feeling and I ended up adding a white frame to this one just to create a kind of Polaroid feeling. Uh, and so here the layout is pretty simple, I just wanted the image itself to uh, kind of be the focal point. 
And then finally, we have the design with the illustration. And so here, uh, we I actually ended up adding a little bit of a detail that we had initially, and I made the shapes inside of the guitar a little bit more prominent. I also worked a little bit with the hierarchy, so I made the, the dates, um, how do you say? Vertically, not horizontally? Yeah, okay. And I also made the sizing of certain things a little bit different. But so these were the three final designs that I ended up showing my clients and um, they were showed on mock-ups so you'll be able to see it kind of how it was going to be in a setting um, and the client shows the illustration one and now it's being rolled out in their different events so i really hope this was inspirational it was a really fun video to record and really cool to be able to share some of my work with you guys. I would love to hear if you like this type of format since most of the videos that I make are more about strategy and running your business. So if you would love to see more design along with me videos, please let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified next time we post. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your projects and see you next time.